So, let us continue the interpretation of international table page. We are looking at um, one particular example as you know um, uh, the space group number 66 and using that example we are explaining various concepts which are there on the international tables page. So, in this part we will look at a very very important section important block of uh, international table which is labeled as positions and this has several um, other uh, important uh, concepts which are subheadings of within positions which is called multiplicity, Wyckoff letter, site symmetry and coordinates. So, we will look at these concepts in this video. So, back to our tables page the space group number 66 we have looked at um, much of the details on this page just to remind you. So, the headline giving the name of and number of the space group, the point group, um, crystal system and so on. Then symmetry element diagram, in fact there are three symmetry element diagram which is three different projections, the AB, BC and CA projection in case of orthorhombic and the general position diagram. This general position diagram will be relevant for today also, so we will look at that and then we discussed origin asymmetric unit symmetry operations all these are on one of the page. If we go to the next page the first item is generator selected which we discussed and then comes today's topic which is the position. So, look at the heading here. So, position and it has subheadings multiplicity, Wyckoff letter and site symmetry and then it also has coordinates and then there are list of these positions uh, starting from and given by so called Wyckoff letter uh, starting from A at the bottom and then goes to B, C as you can see going all the way up to M. This M is not mirror, this M is simply the Wyckoff letter giving the type of position, type of Wyckoff position which these coordinates represent. So, for each position, so each of the line, each of the line here is one set of Wyckoff position. So, for example, this line is one set of Wyckoff position and within that line you have the first number. So, for example, in this case the first number 8 is the multiplicity, second L is the Wyckoff letter and then dot dot M is the site symmetry followed by these coordinates followed by these coordinates. So, these four positions belong to this Wyckoff site. The Wyckoff site itself will be designated by multiplicity and the Wyckoff letter. So, we will call this, we will name this, uh, this row as 8L. We will say Wyckoff site 8L. So, multiplicity and the letter is used as the designation of the yes, positions themselves. So, this is just a brief introduction of uh, this structure. Let us look at the exact meaning of these terms one by one. So, to do that I have uh, pasted the uh, cut and paste of uh, the crystal uh, that uh, symmetry element diagram on the same page to be able to quickly refer. But let us now define what these terms mean. So, the most important term here are the positions. So, positions can be either general position or a special position. So, if you look at here, 
we started with the bottom row 4a and then we went all the way up to the topmost row which was 16m. Now, the topmost row in every space group, the topmost row is what is called the general position. So, this row will be considered general position and all other rows other than the top row are special positions. These are special positions. So, we will see what is general and what is special about them. That comes from the general and special comes from the concept of site symmetry. So, let us define that site symmetry is the group of all symmetry operations which leave a point. The point is what we is meant by site here. So, site symmetry is the group of all symmetry operations which leave a point fixed. That is what is called site symmetry. So, all operations which leave a point of a space fixed is the site symmetry group of that point and this will also be a point group and it will be a subgroup of the point group of the space group. So, site symmetry group is a subgroup of point symmetry group or point group of the space group. If so, when we are dividing general position and special position, we can add here now this classification is based on the site symmetry group. So, if general position means the site symmetry group is just one. So, only identity is the site symmetry group for general positions, which means there are no operation in a space group which will leave the point fixed, only identity will leave it fixed. Any other symmetry operation of the space group will move this po these points to some other point. So, that is the general position, a special position all other site symmetry. So, if site symmetry group includes any non trivial operation a two fold rotation a mirror plane or a four fold rotation or whatever other than identity then those positions are considered as a special position. So, let us look at our diagram again. So, you can see that this last column this last column here, this is what is giving the site symmetry group. The sequence is explained here, first multiplicity. So, this is the multiplicity, this is the Wyckoff letter and this part is the site symmetry. Of course, um, I have missed out the general position, the same thing is true for these also. So, you can see that the general position, the site symmetry is just 1, whereas for a special positions always some non trivial operation is there in the site symmetry m or 2 or 2 by m or 2 2 2. So, they are special from the point of view that they have some symmetry operations which leave these points fixed. So, let us examine a particular site. So, the whole idea of this uh, division into different Wyckoff positions is to classify them by symmetry and by their symmetry equivalence. So, we will see that. So, first of all let us look at the site symmetry. So, please note that when we were discussing the symmetry elements of this space group, we realized that the center, the origin of the space group is taken at the center. So, this is the 
this is the origin and origin is taken at the center which is shown by a white dot inside the lens. Also through that origin the black lens shows that a two fold axis is passing and then this particular symbol of two orthogonal lines is showing that a mirror plane is also passing through the x y plane and since origin is located on the x y plane this mirror m also passes through the origin. So, through the origin a two fold axis passes that black lens the center is located at the origin and a mirror plane passes through the origin. This symmetry you are now familiar this is what is called a 2 by m symmetry. So, if we draw it in perspective, so you have a two fold axis that is what is shown by lens in the projection, then you have a mirror plane that is what is shown by the orthogonal two orthogonal lines and you have a center of inversion which is shown by the white hole inside the lens. So, this point group as you know is called 2 by m. It is actually a monoclinic point group, but here it is appearing as a side symmetry of, of the origin. So, side symmetry this is the side symmetry origin that is points with coordinate 0 0 0 the point with coordinate 0 0 0 has this side symmetry. If you look at the if you look at the point group symmetry of this space group that is m m m. Remember to uh, convert or to derive the point group from the space group symbol all we have to do is to um, uh, remove the first letter which is the centering symbol. So, in this case the capital C and then convert any glide plane or screw axes to normal uh, mirror plane and normal rotation axes. In this case there are no screw axes, but there are two glide planes C C. So, they both of them get converted to M M and that is why you get the point group which is M M M. Now, coming back to the side symmetry of the origin you see that the side symmetry of the origin is 2 by m and this 2 by m is a subgroup of m m m. So, side symmetry will always be a subgroup of the point group symmetry of the space group. Let us look at in the list in the list the coordinate o o o is coming here. So, let us highlight that. So, we are looking at this the origin is coming there and you can see that the side symmetry is listed as 2 by m. Only thing is that there are two dots which are preceding this 2 by m and that is because this side symmetry is actually what is called an oriented side symmetry. The symbol is slightly different from normal point group. If, if I was describing the normal point group, I would have just said 2 by m, but in this case I am calling it dot dot 2 by m. So, this is because this is an orthorhombic system and in orthorhombic system you know that the symmetries are listed along a, b and c axes. And in this case you see that the two fold axis is along the c axis, the mirror plane is perpendicular to the c axis and center of inversion of course, does not have any orientation. So, both the axis 2 is and the m are in the sense along the c axis, but what about the x and y axis. So, along that you do not have any symmetry in this case, 
because you have you can see that along the x axis there is a two fold axis shown here, but its height is 1 by 4. So, it is not really passing through the origin, it is parallel to the x axis, but it is not it is missing the origin, it is not going at 0 high. Similarly, the same thing is true for the one along y axis. So, it is passing at height 1 by 4, so it misses the um, origin. So, origin just have this 2 by m and along x and y there are no symmetry. So, finally, we have this dot dot 2 by m as the side symmetry for this particular point. Now, let us come. So, similarly, you can interpret side symmetry of any other points which are given here. So, let us take one more example this 2 2 2 is looking interesting just now I told that we did not consider 2 as part of the side symmetry for origin because it was missing the origin, but these two two folds you can see here these two two folds both of them are at height quarter. So, obviously, at quarter height they will be intersecting and the z axis is anyway the two fold. So, they at quarter height at this location you will have at quarter height at this location you will have three two folds intersecting one along x axis, one along y axis and one along z axis. So, the point group at height one fourth one by four will be two 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 that is exactly what is being indicated here you can see that at 0 0 1 1 quarter that is the point where 3 2 folds along x along y and along z are going. So, you get the side symmetry there 2 2 2 there are no dots here because along all 3 axes you have some symmetry a 2 fold symmetry, but that is for the coordinate 0 0 4. Now, the next concept is so we have understood the side symmetry and next concept is of symmetry equivalent points or sometimes this is also called points in an orbit. So, this concept is related to the symmetry of the space group if one point is mapped to some other point by a symmetry operation. So, let us let us define this also if if a point x is mapped to some other point y by a symmetry operation of the group this group here is a space group symmetry operation of the space group. then we call x and y as symmetry equivalent and set of all symmetry equivalent point this orbit concept not very common commonly used, but this is nothing but set of all points for a given point. So, if you take a point and find all points which are symmetry equivalent to it, they are called to form an orbit. So, this set will be called an orbit. It will be unique orbit for a given point, so it is called the orbit or point is said to belong to that orbit or all points form the orbit. So, so in this, so let us look at this idea now. So, when I was talking about the origin O, I said that O has a side symmetry 2 by m, but you can see 
that another point is also listed along with that o o o in the same row that is o o half so that is a point along the z axis with coordinate half is in the same wyckoff row in the same wyckoff position as the origin why is it so so please recall that so th this means that there is some symmetry operation of the space group which will take me take the origin to 0 0 half what is that symmetry operation which takes the origin to 0 0 half that symmetry operation is you will have to recall some of your symmetry principles which you have learned the mirror is shown here at 0 0 height mirror at height 0 because no no height is specified so this is a mirror at height 0 but then a mirror at height 0 also implies no but uh, sorry i was getting diverted the mirror uh, i was i was just going to say let me complete this but this will not be relevant uh, to the discussion we are having at the moment mirror at height 0 also implies mirror at height half because the translation distance between mirrors is half the lattice translation in that direction so that is fine but i got diverted that is not the symmetry operation which can map o o o to o half the symmetry operation which is mapping the origin to 0 0 half is actually this one the two fold at quarter you can see that if you rotate the origin about this axis which is at quarter height then origin will move by 180 degree rotation about this axis to height half so in in fact this is not the only operation there is another uh, two fold in the other direction both these operations will map 0 0 0 to 0 0 half so that is why they are symmetry equivalent they are symmetry equivalent by this two fold rotation and they belong to the same orbit now are these the only point two points no because this is a c centered lattice c centered lattice remember this c centering and c centering gives you if you remember the generators so one of the generating translation is half half zero that is exactly what is meant by c centering so if you apply half half zero half half zero is supposed to be added to any of the coordinates listed here so this is simply for to reduce the effort of printing or reduce the effort of writing that those coordinates are not written or they are written in a shorthand notation here notice that once and for all on the top block itself it is given that all coordinates we have to add 0 0 plus and half half 0 0 so 0 0 0 adds nothing so the coordinates given corresponds to 0 0 0 but coordinates not given has to be implied has to be understood that i have to create new points by adding half half zero so if i add half half zero to these coordinates then i'll get two more coordinates half half zero by adding it to zero 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 and half 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 by adding the centering translation to zero zero half so these positions are also symmetry equivalent to the origin so in the end you get you get these four points within the unit cell now orbit the concept of orbit which i told you is a set of all symmetry equivalent points 
So, what is the size of the orbit? How many members are there in this set? Well, this set is infinite because we are talking of a space group, the symmetry which we are talking about is a space group and in a space group you know that there are infinite operations. The translations themselves are infinite and the rotations are distributed about infinitely many axes. So, there are infinitely many operations. So, each point will be mapped to infinitely many different points. So, the orbit is actually infinite, but what is listed here is only those points of orbit which belong to a given unit cell. So, that is why within the unit cell in, in the orbit of origin 0 0 0 only these four points are there 0 0 0, 0 0 half, half half 0 and half 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 and out of these also as I told you half half 0 and half 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 are not explicitly listed, but is um, left to be interpreted from this sign here half half 0 plus. So, I have listed it explicitly and these four points are now belonging to the same orbit, they are all symmetry equivalent, they all have site symmetry 2 by m and so they belong by definition to the same Wyckoff position. So, we come to the definition of Wyckoff position. all symmetry equivalent points having a particular site symmetry. So, two conditions are required for belonging to the same Wyckoff position. They should have the same site symmetry and they should also be symmetry equivalent. So, these four positions which we are considering here listed within the unit cell are symmetry equivalent all of them have the site symmetry 2 by m or dot dot 2 by m if you so please. So, all of them belong to the same Wyckoff position and this Wyckoff position is then given a letter which is more or less arbitrary chosen by Wyckoff letter c. So, we will call this particular row on which we are focusing the Wyckoff position containing the origin as Wyckoff site C. In fact, we will call it Wyckoff site 4 C because as I told you in naming of the particular Wyckoff position multiplicity is also included, but then what is this multiplicity? So, we have seen here multiplicity is nothing mm, we have not defined yet, but we are seeing that four, 4 equivalent positions are there within this unit cell for the origin. So, origin belongs to an orbit out of which four points belong to the unit cell. So, the number of equivalent points belonging to the unit cell is what is called the multiplicity and that is why the multiplicity is given here as 4. So, let us let us write that as definition. So, multiplicity number of equivalent points inside inside the conventional unit cell. Conventional unit cell meaning the unit cell shown in the space group. The very definition of conventional unit cell is the unit cell used by international table to depict or to show that particular space group. So, you just have to count how many equivalent positions are there in any Wyckoff position and that will be the multiplicity of that position. So, let me let me clean this up for the moment and let me remove these annotations. So, so this particular is the Wyckoff position we were considering. See there are only two coordinates, but the multiplicity is 4 because it is a C centered lattice and we do not have to forget this particular instruction that half of 0 has to be added 
to all positions. So, it will the number gets duplicated. So, only two positions shown, but multiplicity is 4 and this site will be called 4 C site. Now, notice that 4 D the row just above it. Let us focus on this 4 D that also has point group 2 by m dot dot 2 by m. So, that means these points also have exactly the same site symmetry, but still they belong to different Wyckoff position. Why is it so? Note the definition of Wyckoff position we required two things that points should be having the same site symmetry, but they should also be all symmetry equivalent. In this case what happens that although these two points the points in position 4 C and points in position 4 D although they have the same site symmetry, but they are not equivalent to each other. That is there is no symmetry of a space group which will take origin to origin which belongs to 4 C to a point 0 half 0 which belongs to 4 D. Let us see whether that is true. Let me clean up some of the annotations here also and so there is an origin and we are saying that it cannot be taken to let us say this particular point 0 half 0. So, 0 half 0. So, that is a point midway on the x axis here 0 half 0. Why is there no symmetry in which can take 0 0 0 to 0 half 0? You can see here that there is means I can apply all the symmetry elements are already shown here and if you apply any symmetry operation. So, for example, if you apply um, the only suitable ones look like for example, this is screw axis at quarter. So, this is screw axis at quarter will bring 0 0 0 2 at the same level as this point, but due to the translation associated it will shift it away and also since it is not in the plane it is at quarter height. So, it will take 0 0 0 to half height first of all and then after half height it will give a translation also in the y axis. So, you cannot bring it to 0 half 0 by this two fold. Similarly, you can explore other symmetry operations present in the space group. You will not find any symmetry operation in the space group which can map 0 0 0 to 0 half 0. So, they belong to different Wyckoff positions, but if you look at the symmetry at 0 half 0. So, what is the symmetry at 0 half 0? You can see that the two fold axis is passing there also parallel to the c axis 0 half 0 is in the at height 0 and at height 0 there is a center of inversion shown and at height 0 there is a mirror plane shown here by these two orthogonal lines. So, the symmetry here also is exactly 2 by m or dot dot 2 by m. So, these two positions 0 0 0 and 0 half 0 they have the same site symmetry 2 by m, but still do not belong to the same Wyckoff position because there is no symmetry operation which can take points from the one position to another position. So, that is also important. So, this way you can analyze and see other Wyckoff positions yourself. I have just taken a simpler example here and uh, similarly the multiplicity and Wyckoff letter will keep changing as we go up in the table. The beauty of this Wyckoff classification is that it has classified all possible different kinds of site symmetries which you can have. So, in this space group 
these are the only possible side symmetries you can have either 2 to 2 uh, going from bottom to top I am uh, seeing 2 to 2 or 2 by m or just a two fold axis and you can see that a 8 g is a two fold axis along the a axis whereas, 8 h is dot to dot. So, it is a two fold axis along y axis 8 i is dot dot to. So, it is a two fold axis along z axis. So, with this I think we have discussed in quite a bit detail this uh, Wyckoff nomenclature and other concepts associated with this position general position and a special position. So, I think we will stop here thank you very much.